Hello and welcome to a new collection update. We're doing one of these. Uh, there's not very many new things. It actually hasn't been that long since the last one for once. Uh, I just wanted to show that everything's been kind of switched around and I've, I've done a lot of, of, of thoughtful uh, rearrangement. So uh, uh, yeah, I think there's only actually four new additions to the actual collection itself, but uh, uh, well, whatever. So I've basically combined my two shelves, so whereas one was just a bookshelf before and the other one was just models of various sorts, uh, they're now sort of crossing over prehistoric animal models on top, books primarily on bottom, there's also other stuff. It's already bleeding together and getting messed up, but whatever. Um, so yeah, there's there's no real functional reason for why I did this, I just I don't know. I, I suddenly had the idea to, to kind of set it up like this in my head, and I'm like, you know, I feel like this is somehow just a lot more presentable. Can't really put my finger on why, but there you have it. So, starting over on the smaller shelf, on the top we have a lot of the greatest Carnegie figures of all time. We have the Tylosaurus and Albertosaurus, two of my personal favorites, Spinosaurus and Giga. We also have the Papo Acrocanthosaurus. That's a figure that I really gave a harsh rating to. I think I gave it a six, but I, I still think it kind of deserves it for various reasons, but it's kind of grown on me lately, so it's nice to see it there. Collect a Feather T-Rex back from 2015. Uh, Papo Allo. Uh, the Papo Iguanodon and Quetz. A couple of slightly newer additions. I like having the Quetz out front because it just has a really unique aesthetic, and it's kind of become one of my favorite pterosaur models around. Uh, Safari Rex and Camarasaurus, the 2019 Camarasaurus, lovely. Uh, below we have kind of just a grab bag. We have one new addition, which is the Anzu, uh, one of the last 2018 Safari figures that I finally picked up. I still have one more, which is the Megacerops. Uh, besides that, pretty much stuff you've all seen before. Carnegie Diplodocus in the back, uh, collected Torvosaurus, my other Carnegie Giga, and Triceratops Corpse, just various stuff, Collecta Acro, and what have you. Uh, moving over to the main shelf, uh, this is kind of where the, the main body of the collection is. Here in the corner we have the little Collecta Gigant Spinosaurus, Collecta Juvenile T-Rex, the old Carnegie Brachiosaurus, the new Carnegie Brachiosaurus along with most of the other larger sauropods. Uh, we have a wild thing plushie because if you if you don't if you don't worship that on a daily basis you're not my friend and you can't even be a fan go away we don't love you anymore. Uh, we have the Carnegie Pteranodon hitching a ride on the top of Jara because I'm too lazy to actually hang it up. Uh, a couple of my favorite herbivore figures of all time the Collecta Iguanodon and Styracosaurus. We can see the favorite co. Uh, Series 1 T-Rex, one of my favorite Tyrannosaur figures around. 2019 Safari Prestosuchus kind of hiding in there. Uh, Safari Tylosaurus and a few other marine things. We have both my Ichthyosaur figures, the Carnegie Collection Ichthyosaurus and the Collected Temnodontosaurus with the large Safari Chronosaurus. Looking very nice all together. Collect a Smilodon, Papo Running Rex, you can see the Bichon Long at the back. Safari Quetz, uh, Safari Giganotosaurus, of course. Uh, this is another new addition. This is the PNSO Scientific Art Statue Spinosaurus which I'll probably be getting out a review for soon. He's eating a uh, good luck mini Spinosaurus because it's the smallest and largest Spinosaur in the house. So I thought I'd put them together because why not? Uh, it's Tachosaurus. We have the the old 1995 or 6 uh, Safari LTD uh, baby T-Rex. Another new addition there is the Safari Deodon. And we have a great deal of other figures kind of hiding back in the shadows. Uh, there you have it. Uh, also, I missed one new addition. Yes, the Uintetherium from Safari as well. Very underrated, kind of pleasantly, surprisingly good figure. Uh, we also have the the Good Condition 10th Anniversary Rex in the back. Uh, below that, pretty much just stuff you've already seen. Random Grab Bag, Carnegie Microraptor. We have just an absolute miscellaneous shelf here. We have the old Safari car car right next to the Collected Deluxe. Kind of fun. Uh, this incredibly disturbing children's book, which I still have. I should do an entire video just highlighting it. It's really that special and off-putting of a thing. Um, 
Safari Ghost Dragon, hanging out with some old Safari prehistoric stuff. Uh, Dinotopia, and also a very old dinosaur book that I still have. Uh, we have Godzilla. I have no idea what movie this figure is in correlation with. It's just like, I don't know, like early 2000s, like 2001 I think is the date on it. I don't really follow kaiju or Godzilla movies at all, but I have this. Um, let's see, Papo Silver Dragon, Safari Jungle Dragon, we have various catalogs. This is most of my actual dinosaur related reading. Uh, we have some kind of more vintage literature below. We have The Aryan Horse being a, a fairly effective bookend, although it doesn't stand very well itself, so hopefully that doesn't go poorly at some point. Safari Ice Dragon, Forest Dragon, and the old Chinese Dragon, which is discontinued, which I really love. And also the newer rendition, the Crystal Dragon with the translucent plastic. Uh, Cave Dragon, that's one of the more recent editions. And it's actually sitting over top most of my dragon-related books. Dragonology and the Dragonology Field Guide, a couple of very wonderful books for people who enjoy dragon and creature design illustrations and for people who enjoy like fantasy roleplay zoology, as strangely niche as that is. Um, we also have various books about modern reptiles and snakes, the Expanse series and other sci-fi fantasy stuff, uh, more dragons, uh, cloud dragon, golden dragon, the sea dragon, the midnight moon dragon. Uh, all safari stuff except for the Papo Silver that I already showed. Uh, other than that, that's, that's that's pretty much it. We do have over on the side we have Essien's box, uh, <laughs> Toy Story Rex, and also an Imaginex Pachycephalosaurus just chilling for absolutely no reason. Also the BOTM Raptors, which I forgot to mention in the original footage for this video because I'm just super good at my job. Uh, so that is about it. Uh, we have some new additions hopefully coming soon. I'm trying to get back into contact with Safari. Not sure why that's turning out to be so hard, but if I can get back into contact, that'll mean a Mega Serops and perhaps some 2019 figures coming in from Safari soon. Uh, I also am going to try to get in some Eofauna stuff soon, probably the Giga and Paleoluxodon. Uh, I do not foresee the Step Mammoth coming in right away. That'll probably be a later purchase for the channel at this point, uh, just because I'm not as interested in it. And then I also want to try to get in a bunch of the PNSO minis and perhaps another PNSO scientific art statue before the year is out. So that's kind of the collecting plan for the remainder of 2019. And there you have it. Pterosaur piggyback ride. Da. Da. Da.